backstage at the Royal Albert Hall for Classic FM Live, joined by Bram Tovey. Bram, thank you for talking to us and taking the time. You're very welcome. You've had a very busy afternoon rehearsing absolutely everyone out there. Is it? Uh, have you flown in? Um, actually, I was in Ulster last weekend. I was in the Ulster Orchestra, and um, and then I'm here this week, and I go back on Friday to the Canada where I live. Um, oh, Vancouver, so is that right? Vancouver, yes. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a Londoner, but yeah. um, I've lived in North America now for about 20 years. Now, they say Vancouver so. is the place to live, and it must yeah. be a lovely place. It's to an incredible music. place to live. I love it there, actually. Yeah. And um, it's a wonderful orchestra and a wonderful community and a terrific city. So, uh, but I'm from London, so it's great to be back here too. Love it. And you're yeah. no stranger to this hall either. Not at all. No, I first conducted here, I think, in 1977. I think it was. So quite a long time ago. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the acoustic exactly the same, or? Mushrooms helped? Well, I think it's better than it was, a little better, and I can remember it just before the, the actual sources went up because I remember being brought here as a very small boy and hearing the preposterous sort of echo that uh, people only sort of talk about now mm. as, a, as a distant, distant memory. But um, I first came here, I guess, uh, to see a big Salvation Army event when I was three or four years old, and which would have been the mid-50s. So. Uh, this is the nation's village hall. It's a it's a wonderful hall. It's yeah. always a great joy to perform here. You touched on that Salvation Army, that the, the Bram, the name, of course. Mm -hmm. that you're a tuba player at heart. Is that oh, right? I was uh, way 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 back, but I haven't played since I was 22, so a long long time. I'm actually a pianist. I still uh, play a lot, actually. I solo a lot, but uh, um, I uh, haven't played a brass instrument for oh, 35 years. But uh, I do enjoy um, working occasionally with brass bands, and I've had the privilege and honour of being the artistic director of the National Youth Brass Band of Great Britain for the last six years, and that's a wonderful job. It's one of the best mm. jobs in music, I think, because you have these young, enthusiastic kids who come along mm. and uh, play their hearts out uh, for three weeks a year, standards phenomenally high, mm. and it's a great joy and pleasure to have that position, as well as being mm. all the various other things, too, that I do. Is it, do you still write test pieces? Am I, right now? I have okay. written a test piece for yeah. brass bands, yes. I've just written an opera, actually, which was just performed in Calgary, um, a big three act, at, uh, well, almost three act uh, opera and uh, prologue and two acts. It's um, a huge beast of a thing. We had uh, great pleasure doing it about a month ago, and um, and I have several conduct other conducting positions as well as music director of VSO. So, so there's a lot to think about. It, there is yeah. isn't there? <laughs> a, lot, a lot to think about. Uh, as far as the Orchestra of Opera North are concerned, it, is it easy to come in and pick an orchestra up like that, as it were? Well, it depends. This, uh, this is a virtuoso orchestra. This is a fantastic orchestra, and I think everyone in the music profession <coughs> acknowledges that. Um, I conduct them regularly. Actually, it's only a year since I last worked with them. We did um, a performance of the Huddersfield Choral Society coming to Brana and Gateshead. We did Walton's first symphony in Huddersfield itself. We've done lots of concerts together, and many of the players in the orchestra I've known for 20, 25 years. So um, I know them very well. Uh, many of them are friends, and it's always a pleasure and joy to come and work with them. Uh, so it's not so much a case of picking up uh, a new relationship, but of renewing an old relationship, and that's, that makes it terrific fun. You sound like you have the, the classic conductor's schedule and lifestyle. Is it, is it, it must be hard, it must be tough. I'm not sure what the classic lifestyle <laughs> is, but uh, <laughs> people, it always sounds so glamorous, but you know, it's, um, it's always queuing through security and flying around and uh, getting tired and feeling worn out. And, uh, Do you know what you're doing in five years' time? and all Not that five years' stuff? time, but three years' time. I, ha I know exactly what I'm doing. So it's, um, and one or two things, bigger projects that are five years away, um, mm -hmm. I have penciled in the book. But you know, it, um, it's uh, the, the music profession. People talk about it being in crisis. I don't believe that at all, actually. I think uh, the standards now are higher than they've ever been, certainly mm -hmm. during my career. And um, whilst there are funding difficulties um, around the world, I think um, orchestras are embracing lots of um, new evangelical ways of spreading the good message of music. Look at this concert tonight for Classic FM. Mm. Um, there is undoubtedly um, a tremendous uh, amount of evangelical work in music that's gone on um, solely because of Cla Classic FM, and I think that's admirable because I think a lot of people have been brought into classical music uh, through listening to the channel and through having a, shall we say, a more uh, user-friendly introduction. Mm. Many people are intimidated by some of the long words we use in music or some of the long mm. titles, some of the esoteric names and uh, difficult uh, life stories, but actually um, there are many, many different ways of listening to music. Uh, undoubtedly, the deeper you dig, um, the more you get out of it. Um, there's no doubt about that. But on the other hand, uh, you don't have to be uh, afraid of a lack of knowledge in listening and understanding to music, because music is something that affects you um, subliminally as well as intellectually, so it's a, 
it's a fantastic theme music. It's a great news story, and um, I'm delighted to be doing this concert with Classic FM. They are wonderful thoughts. Thank you, Bram, for sparing the time. You're very welcome.